Today, we make Courage JD's starting soon screen. Hey guys, what's up? It's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day because I sure am. We are getting back into the templates today, ladies and gentlemen, and we are doing it, doing Courage JD's starting soon screen. A bunch of people have been requesting stream graphics and whatnot from Courage JD, so I think we're gonna get started by doing his stream starting soon screen, and I hope you guys enjoy it. But before we get into the template inside of After Effects, I just wanted to say a couple things. First off, we have made my Discord public. There is now a Bravity M Discord, so make sure you're hopping down into the description, clicking the link, and joining that invite into the Discord. The Discord's awesome. There's plenty of channels where you can just chat and have fun, but we also have some channels for you guys to post in if you're having trouble in After Effects, Photoshop, really any program or anything to do with content creation. My entire community plus me are very active on there, and we're going to try to help you figure out what's going wrong in After Effects, what's going wrong with your projects, and try to help you and give you feedback on what you're doing. So I think that's really awesome, and I think a lot of you would really enjoy jumping down into the description and joining that Discord. But one more thing before we get started real quick, I do try to stream every Tuesday and Saturday over on Twitch, so if you guys are not following, make sure you're heading down into the description, clicking on my Twitch link and following. We're nearing at 200 followers, and it would be awesome to hit that. But without further ado, let's get into After Effects and take a look at this template for Courage JD. All right, guys, so here we are inside of After Effects. This is what the template is going to look like. As you can see, if you're familiar with Courage JD's starting soon screen, we have recreated it almost exactly here. So what it looks like is you see when you scrub through, you've got these yellow boxes flying in between, and you got the blue boxes flying by as well. And the stream starting animates out, and his logo comes in. We've got my fake logo here. So you'll see the stream starting just kind of... Let's see if we can get it right there. It just kind of slides out, and then the logo slides in as the timer counts down. Then the logo is going to slide out, and then the stream starting soon comes in. So it's just like his transition, and then you've got the logo over here that's actually a different logo. He's got multiple different logos, so he's got one over here on the side, and then he's got one that animates in right here. And if you guys have two logos, you can set them up both in here as well. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you jump into this template is probably change it to your colors. So we've got this awesome color control tab here. And if you jump into the uh, composition here, click on color control and go up to effects controls. You're going to see we have every single color inside the composition right here. Easy to change. So let's change the yellow to like a blue. Let's change this blue to like a pastel green. Let's change this blue to a uh, or burnt orange. Eh, no, let's change it to like a dark purple. There we go. Let's change this to like a pink and then let's change the white to like a light blue. So we've changed every single color to be something vastly different. If we head back into Final Render, you'll watch everything just live update here to all your colors. So you can jump in here and change it to whatever stream colors you want. Mess around with the colors and make it anything you desire. But I'm going to go ahead and Command Z these all back to what they were there we go and now we're back to the courage JD colors so then once you do that you might want to change the logos put in your logo so we've got your one logo here so this is gonna be the one that animates in right here so this is gonna be like maybe a main logo or even you could do your secondary logo right here or even just text courage just has his text come in that says courage JD right here and then you just want to put your logo in here by maybe just deleting this one and then importing your logo and placing it inside this box or you can just hide this one if you want to leave it and then you go to the your logo here too and you can put your fake no, not your fake logo your real logo i put a fake logo in here so you put your secondary logo in here by just deleting this hiding it and then importing your logo into this box and when we go back into final render you'll see that that logo is the one that's over on the side here so it just kind of sticks in from the left a little bit and just kind of kind of hangs out there the whole time so if you want to have two different logos you can put two different logos in the your one logo here and your two logo here but if you just have one logo you want them both to be the same you can fill the same logo into both of those and you'll have the same logo animating in and the same logo chilling out here on the side i've just said logo a lot and then once you've changed the colors and your logos you're pretty much done if you would like to change where it says stream starting to say something else you can come in here to edit text and you'll have to change starting here and you'll have to change starting here again you have to change two of them 
as they animate and then the stream as well you have to change this one and this one and you can edit it just like a normal text layer but keep in mind that doing this might throw off the animation and might throw off where they animate in so if you want to change the text you might need to know after effects a little bit to make sure you can get the animation looking correct again or you can just leave it stream starting it's nice and basic and looks really good but as you see this last five minutes we've got a timer that counts down from five minutes now this timer is created inside of after effects using code so if we head down in here into our source text you'll see that we have this long code that is uh making the timer countdown and if the timer looks incorrect to you if it's not looking like a timer what you're going to want to do is change how after effects reads scripts and how the coding works inside of after effects and the way you want to do that is go to file project settings expressions and make sure this is on legacy extend script not javascript Le legacy extend script now i think this copies over with the project so when you download the template it should still be on legacy extend script but just in case you're having trouble with your timer that is something you might want to check but once you're done changing your colors adding in your logo editing your text if you want to you'll see the timer lasts five minutes we take it all the way down all the way down let me zoom out a little bit all the way down to zero and then we hold on zero for about 20 seconds just like that just so you can have time to switch to your next scene so then you can export this entire composition by going to composition and then add to render queue you want to change this from lossless up here go up to format avi change it to quicktime go over here and you can leave it at rgb we're not doing any kind of stinger transition nothing needs an alpha background so you can leave it on rgb hit ok this should say custom QuickTime now down here by out output module. If it's not, just make sure your settings are just like this when you click on it. Then where it says output to right here, you just want to click where it says final render in blue, and you can change that to be whatever you want it to be named. Save it wherever you want. That is where you do that. And then you just want to hit render. Now, one big thing is I would definitely look into once you export this out of After Effects as a QuickTime file, try converting it to WebM. I'm gonna be posting a video real soon on how to do WebM, but right now I do not have a video on my channel talking about WebM, so make sure you look up a video on how to convert things to WebM, convert this to WebM, because it is going to be an almost six minute video file. Putting that into OBS is really gonna bog down your OBS, so try converting it to WebM after you export it out of After Effects. All right guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoy the template. I'm really proud of this one. Courage JD's stream graphics look awesome, and I was super excited to recreate this and I know we went a little bit more in depth with this one talking about coding and scripting inside of After Effects and then talking about converting to WebM but I tried to make it as straightforward as possible and if you guys have any questions make sure you post them down in the comments and then also join that discord and you can post it inside the learning and help section of the discord if you need any help post something in there I'll try to jump in and answer it as frequently as I can and if I can't somebody in my community probably will as well try to help you as much as they can but once again guys I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.